Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Should I put some chapstick on, like before? Would that help? I don't know. Do you, yeah, what do you think? How are you feeling? Are you feeling like you uh, might need I, some chapstick? I, I feel like a chapstick and a breath mint. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. Welcome to Casey's Crazy Kitchen. We're just going to keep it simple with you today, do a little steak and taters, but we're going to put our own little mustard on it, even though we're not using mustard. Wait for it. Okay, so what we're going with, honey gold, two bite potatoes, so that makes sense why you want to chop them right in half, but we're just going to rinse these. I think I should probably get some water boiling before I do that. What do you think? Yeah, let's, uh, let's just get some have water, half a pot of water going on. And make sure you salt it good. I can do all that. <laughs> yeah, let's just start with that. Let's not make it think. It's the last thing you want to do, honestly. And did you get this? Does anybody see what's going on? This is like having a Superman on your chest. This is Nate's grandmother gave me this. I mean, for all I know, she, for all I know, she, she gave us those potatoes. All right. Well, let's get back. To looks, the, let's get back to the process here. So okay. we're gonna boil some water. Yeah. I love what you're doing too. Well, it's just a little simple science of putting a little salt in a little water, bringing it to a boil. We're gonna put the potatoes in here first before we do some sizz. This is the rinsing of the potatoes. Get the dirt off of. We're keeping it pretty simple tonight, folks. I've never cooked it like this before. That's how we're rolling tonight. We're getting experimental. I think we actually do a pretty good job of keeping our fingers out of food. So far, so good. Four meals. We still got all ten fingers. <clears throat> I don't know if that's enough water. We're about to find out. You want to edit that? When you're actually putting them in, I, ah! I actually have to use those parts, so I can't okay. edit those parts out, right. unfortunately. We're going to go okay. 10 minutes. Yeah. I've been at 275. Oh, uh, we're, we're going how much? 275. Oh, slow. We're going low and slow with it. And then we get the serum. Very interesting. Low temperature to get that cook on. Uh, you said 45 minutes that we're going to be dealing with that. I got my stomach tingling. So we can do we can do one of two things while we have nine minutes here left. Let's get out our strainer that we're going to strain into. So that way we're ready. No, no cigarette? cigarette yet. Cigarette? We just started. All right. Let's 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 get our kind of our setup over here that we're going to strain into however that's going to work. Do you have your cell phone on you? I do. <laughs> so um, basically we're going to have something that we need to strain into. Yeah, I just used that strainer that's down there. It's right down there on the bottom shelf. We go in non-stick pan? Uh, yeah, or, yeah. See, luckily my director knows these things because I do not. He just gives me sharp objects, sharp shiny objects that I like. <laughs> Should I be nervous? You you realize you will have to keep walking me through this. You need to get your pan on simmering and then put some garlic and some rosemary in it. Oh, should I get that ready? It should be going right now, yeah. See, I knew that. What does rosemary look like? Where's, it's down in the bottom drawer, left side. What does it look like? Like weed. They look like herbs. I can't find it. Is it green? Found it. And what we're gonna do, as we often do, is we're gonna rinse everything because I don't trust supermarkets for one. Whatever pesticides they put on there, I don't trust for two. And that's a good looking rosemary. Well, we still we still don't have that oil going yet. Well, I forgot that I was supposed to be doing this. I would like to trim those hands off. So let them know this is the oil that we're gonna be infusing with rosemary and garlic for the potatoes. Do I have to use the word infusing? Yes, it's Do a I complicated word, infusing? but it means something, yes. So, tonight we're going to be infusing some things. No, that's not what I said. We're going to go a little infusion. olive oil, but we're going to infuse it with the herbs. I don't, I don't know what he wants me to say half the time, folks, honestly. Oh, I need more oil than that. You think so? Yes. 
I thought that was potatoes. too much. I th oh, okay, well, I yeah. thought that was too much. Yeah, that, you, need, you need to get a amount of oil in there. So can you tell the people that? 30, Once those are drained, then we'll put the rosemary and garlic in there, and then we'll do it with the steak, because it's not. That sounds very good, Mr. Director, sir. Thank you. You let, you let me know when I can get a smoke break, boss. Here's that timer. We got a strainer. We got taters. I think that's the route we're going. We're just gonna strain the taters. That wasn't sexy at all. Pretty simple process. I'm gonna dry those out. And in the meantime, what do you think about that whole branch right there? Boys and girls, what we're about to do is throw some fresh rosemary and some nice hot olive oil. Don't break it. Leave it whole. Are, Are you just kidding me? Come on. I'm just throwing just throw it in the, the aisle. Throwing this. Yeah, and take three cloves of garlic and throw those in there. Let's get this infused. And... My boss. I mean, we can really we can wait around tonight, and look at things folks. and play with them, but I mean, yeah. we got to do this too. You can really like just. Woo! You can also tell them you're gonna throw a few garlic at the smash right. I. Well, aren't, aren't, you, aren't you gonna put that on the bottom of the thing? Tell them like four garlic cloves. No, you're telling them why you cook, so that way they have something mm. to match up with what they're seeing on the on the screen. I'm how busy. The video works. I'm busy cooking. As as far as what I'm doing, I am smashing up garlic cloves. I think we're going with, with about three or four. Is what my mass you my mass is thinking. And you want to try and leave mass, them whole. Mass mass of thinking. I should. And you want to try and leave them whole. Don't smash them into pieces. Just break them enough to get the, the skin off. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what you, that's what I'm telling you that. That's why. Why, I why can't you make me look smarter, man? What are we trying to do right now? We're just smashing the garlic. All we want is to get the skin off. We want to keep it intact. This isn't minced. This isn't diced. This isn't sliced. But that's what my master wants. <laughs> tiny garlic. Wasn't that a Don Ho song? It's probably tiny bubbles, but that's how old I am. I know Don Ho songs. There, there are really times when I wish I could share the smell with people. Just a couple of simple ingredients, and it was, it's, it's aromatherapy. Right now, we're gonna put a little more olive oil in there until mass is, until mass is happy. Can we, can we edit this look on my face right now? Uh oh. John Cena in the house. I can't wait to eat some of this food. <laughs> you ready for that? I don't think you're ready for that. Never mind the way it looks now, the way it's going to come out and taste when it enters my mouth. We need to stir some shit up. Meanwhile, we got the potatoes drying. They're not going to be potatoes O'Brien. So, I'm going to let him walk me through this as far as what I'm doing no, to you're not. this. You're just gonna do it. So, that's how, so that's how you, it works. So you you're want, just gonna tell so him what you want me to just sneeze on it? No, I want you to take them out of the package, put them on a board, and season them with you salt. You want and to take out? You want me to take out my package? So here we go. Little salt, little pepper, sea salt, and fresh ground. I want them as dry as possible. Okay. Let him know that too. Okay, Martha. I'll let him know that you want me to pat dry these. Steaks. No, it's just to do it like a cooking show. Oh, so, 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 <laughs> so I'm gonna pat down these steaks. <laughs> We're gonna cook. No, I'm not doing that. You're gonna look so gay on <laughs> I don't doubt that. What were these again? The New York? These are ribeye. The ribs. We got some good quality meat from Oliver's local market once again. You're gonna have to wait 45 minutes before you find out what this is gonna do. We're, we're gonna have to wait for the feminists. They're not gonna have oh, to wait they, they, they will. I don't care about them. I mean, let's be clear about that. I don't, this is my meal. What? You want some of this? Go get your own. I'm sorry, that was probably a little grouchy. You tend to get angry every I, episode I just, at the audience. Yeah. I, I got some low blood sugar right now and it's just, it's all bad. We're going a little salt, a little pepper. No, a lot of salt, a lot of lot, pepper. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper? Lot, uh, salt, uh, yeah, we're gonna see them. Uh, you said a lot of salt, uh, a no, no. Say a generous amount, because that's what they would say okay. in, in a real cooking show. That's some pretty hoity-toity shit, man. Okay, so next we're going to be using a very generous amount of salt and pepper in order to season our meat. I don't know why I have to sound gay. Okay. Alright, generous amount. We're going with salt first. Then pepper. the pepper. Me personally, I, I, I would tend to go a little more generous with the pepper. 
and then if we flip them with the motherfucker. Try and keep all that on there. Nothing extravagant. And then from here, we're gonna throw it in the oven. Meantime, we're gonna be cooking potatoes. The whole the whole point, I think, is that we make this meal end up together. So I want you to say, so let's move on to the potatoes. Can I wipe my nose first? Yeah, I would recommend Can I wipe that, my yeah. Coke nostril? Next, we're gonna be involved with these potatoes. Yeah. Are we on camera? I just got hit up with what we're doing next, and it threw me for a loop. This dude is talking balsamic vinegar. He's talking butter. He's talking different ingredients. About half that butter. Half that butter? Mm -hmm. I can do half that butter. Balsamic vinegar. Here we go. I want to keep in mind, that, like, I, I want all of you to know at home. It was, this was his idea. That's good. Well, I mean, this this is going to be very interesting. This is what's going on our potatoes later. But that's ready. We just got to put that on potatoes. We got to get that on the potatoes. Off, can I turn this off? You think? Let's just get it, let's get it on the potatoes, yeah. So here's where we spread the potatoes. We don't Once spread them yet. We put them on the pan and then put the oil and butter on top of them and, and then spread them. Okay, but I thought I was putting these on there. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. And then put the oil on them and spread them around. So this is where we spread the potatoes. This is where you put the potatoes Which, in the pan. Man. Well, I, don't, I don't understand why you make it so difficult. We're gonna spread those out. They're nice and dry. Check that out. Actually, I, I, I would say I keep these closer together. Sea salt and ground pepper. Now you're gonna spread them. Now I spread them. It's like that one time in jail. It's gonna make the house smell good. There you go, bam. Throw it right in there. Take some cloves of garlic, just bust them off the thing and throw them on there. They'll roast, it'll be awesome, believe me. Trust me. We're just apparently gonna yank some cloves of garlic off. Just throw them in there. I would like to cut that no, off, not, but he's, he's, not, no, he's, he's saying no. He's threatened physical violence on me. Let's watch this, folks, because this should be very interesting. A whole process that we haven't really utilized yet. Boys and girls, pay attention. 45 minutes at 275, and then we're gonna slap it in the pan and get a nice little sizz on it. Ooh, and, and you gotta love that over those potatoes, there's gonna be some leakage. There's gonna be some, some fat dripping down up in that bitch. You know, we are close to your smoke break, and you haven't even been asking for any smoke break. I have. I haven't been trying to be bitchy. You, you've been a little but busy, you, haven't you, you? You know, I wanted to. We lost the cast iron skillet, huh? I don't understand what happened. There's only two places it can be: either up there. Or either down there. What about down here? I'll, I'll look. There's nowhere else it could be. Check out down there one more time. There it is. Now, right now, all you gotta do is get your garlic, your butter, your thyme ready. And uh, you'll have to explain to the audience why it is that we're leaving these completely whole. I understand it has to do with some flavor, but I don't want to pick this out of my teeth. So what, am, what are we going to do? You're not going to eat the garlic. Sure I will. We're just using that for an infusion. I eat everything. Well then, you're gonna be picking it out of your teeth. And then we're gonna go half a stick of butter. What do we wanna suggest? Maybe six, seven branches of thyme. We got six cloves of garlic, and this this is what we're gonna do to it. And you're gonna be waiting for uh, 20 minutes before you check that enough for the potatoes? Enough for a smoke break, you thinking? Enough for a smoke break. You thinking enough for maybe? I'm thinking this is your chance. All yeah. right. Sounds good. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. That was the ding ding. That was the ding ding. Time to get the steaks out. Time to yeah. stir the potatoes. So what about what, your hand so, washing? So, uh, so, oh yeah, the hand washing. I almost forgot. I just, I just came off a cigarette break, so I gotta wash that nicotine off my hands.
before I test the food. And then after we do that, we're gonna take the steaks out. We're gonna get that nice little reverse sear on it. No, just do your wash your hands right now. Tell us what you're doing oh, you when you're really doing it, yeah. Oh, you, you, want, you want the full run through? Here's me running. No, running do it real quick so we can get the steaks out. We don't need the, the explanation. Doubling up the paper towel. Whatever you want to do, but we're not cutting it or anything. We're just we're just letting it chill right now. Just knock it off, dude. We're trying to film a show. <laughs> right? Put the rack on top of the cutting board. Uh, I was gonna go paper towels on the bottom of it. Sure. <laughs> that catnip's got him going nuts. So we're just gonna make a nice little rack. So let's pull these out and put them on the rack. Ready for uh, so we want to use like a plate or something. Put a, use a fork and like a plate or a pan or something to get them onto. Mm -hmm. so however you want to do it. You got to get them off that rack onto that rack. Let's make it a fancy fork. Are you guys ready for this? Oh. Roll them up on here. You're just doing it like that. Mm, really mess. I was gonna say the plate might have been the yeah, best idea. Yeah. Those potatoes are looking healthy. We've had these at what, 275 for about 45 minutes. And keep in mind, you got some of that meat drizzle in here. But now we're gonna up it, 350. Okay, we got some potatoes stirred. We're going to 350 for about 10, 15 minutes. I don't I don't know if we've got the people adjusted to what just came out of the oven. I'm sorry, that looks juicy. What are we gonna, no, I don't know why I always go to that Italian. What are we gonna do is. Do you have a Texas I accent? I could, I could have a Louisiana accent. What do you, what do you want? You want some gumbo? You want some gumbo out of this nigga? What? Huh? I don't know what gumbo has to do with steak. We're just gonna go with some simple avocado oil. We wanna hear that sizzle to it. And see, I was just ready to get gun ho and throw oil into pans, and now it's being suggested that that's not how we roll. I gotta sit here and just wait for this pan to heat up angrily. Again, just a little avocado oil that we're gonna add to this pan to get our nice little sear on. This is what we're doing, folks. Let's see if it sounds right. Obviously going for the reverse char, we're looking for that nice little sizzle to it. See, this, this is where I want to walk away from it, but... It was the way we could translate the smell. We're on about half of a cube of butter. Right there. Hopefully people can see the way this smells because this is really looking forward to this. Uh, boys and girls, look at that. Look at the sizzle. Ah, that's a piece of meat right there that I'm going to eat right there. And what we're going to do is, is save everything we cooked it in. Because you're going to want to drizzle that on after the fact. But for now, we're going to just let them sit. So now we're going to do a little garnish. A little green onion. Not, nothing too fancy. As always, carefully avoiding the fingers. This is the moment of truth. Just we're slightly. Well overdone just for the cameras. Just slightly. Just to let you know, that was overdone. Yeah, it's his fault. I mean, can I just try a piece of this right now? I just want to, no, uh -uh. Here we go. You see that, folks? Oh, you wait till we get the drizzle on it. Let's see how we can do this. And now we get the drizz. Mm. 
Yeah, their nose are so dumb. And I'll tell you what, and this is just a little thyme, little butter. Get your grizz on. Yeah, from here we just shove it in our face and we tell these people what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, from here we just shove it in our face and we tell these people what it tastes like. Simple. Steak, potatoes. Yeah, so from here we just shove it in our face real and real. we tell these people what it tastes like. Nothing real fancy, but. Yeah, from here we just shove it in our face. And we the the flavor is taste. jumping off. You're gonna taste this, and you're gonna want to eat it again. Mm. Ooh, still hot. Casey's Crazy Kitchen. So, I, I would like to suggest what you're gonna have to do. As soon as you finish watching this episode, go subscribe, and then we'll keep laying some bomb ass tips at you as far as how to cook things. But uh, I see you next week. Uh, I sure hope I don't. Wait, do I, well, do I, yeah, you will. Do, wait, do I have they'll to see you next week? Do I have to see these people next week? No, they, they'll see you. So I should just say. Say, see me next week. Okay, see me next week. Casey's Crazy Kitchen.